Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Dana. I upload a new video at least once a week, so if you haven't already, now is a great time to subscribe to my channel so you can stay on top of all of those new videos. The brand Tiesta Tea was kind enough to send me a whole bunch of their teas and then a whole second package with two more teas. One of them was the matcha, so um, I already made a video on that one. But then the second tea they sent me was this Blackberry Bellini, which is brand new and I can't wait to try it. So let's go ahead and get it steeping and then we can like really dig in and see everything there is to know about blackberry bellini. It smells really nice and fruity. So I have my glass mug and my metal basket infuser. I sell these, um, I'm in the process of getting like a website for them up and running so you could buy them like directly through me. But for now I do have them on my Poshmark so I'll link that so if you guys need a metal basket infuser, the perfect easiest way to make loose tea, it will be there for you. Let's just go ahead and scoop our tea right into our infuser. All right, let's set this to the side and check out everything there is to know about this brand new Blackberry Bellini from Tiesta. It says blackberry bellini, blackberry citrus green tea, and the ingredients are pineapple, green tea, elderberries, lemon peel, raspberries, blackberries, and natural flavor. And then on the back it has some more information just about Tiesta, the brand, and it says a premium loose leaf tea experience. We sourced over 150 ingredients from 40 countries around the world, meticulously crafting each blend with the help of experienced food scientists and herbalists to guarantee you the best loose leaf experience possible. Cheers and live loose. So it definitely has like a deep like blackberry raspberry smell like the elderberries probably help with that too. It's um, it's like more the kind of fruit I like. Like I generally don't love fruity teas because a lot of the time they'll put like hibiscus and all this crazy stuff. I, if I'm gonna drink fruity teas, it's gonna be more of a blend like this where it is like green tea based and like a nice like deep fruit. Like I don't love like a tart berry tea. So I think this one is going to be a winner for me. Like I like pineapple, I like elderberry, I like blackberry, I like raspberry, and I like that it has lemon peel so it's still gonna have like that hint of tartness but they didn't like take it so far as to like throw in a bunch of hibiscus to like really throw me off. Like this seems like it's going to be something I can enjoy. Tiesta has another green fruity tea called Fruity Paradise. It used to be called Fruity Pebbles, but they recently changed it. But I really like that one as well. I've actually been drinking it pretty regularly since I filmed my video on it. It was actually like the first loose leaf tea I ever tried in my life. So it was cool to be like reunited with it as an ambassador for their brand or an affiliate for Tiesta. Uh, it was like a weird full circle moment. Like I, it brought me right back to when I was young in the grocery store, picking out that Fruity Pebbles as my first foray into loose leaf tea, getting completely obsessed, going on to work at a tea store and uh, now being here as an affiliate for Tiesta. So that being said, if you do buy this tea or anything else from Tiesta, if you wouldn't mind using my code, I would really appreciate it. It also gets you a bit of a discount, so a little something for each of us in there. But here's how the tea looks all spread out on a plate. I definitely see the pineapple, some good chunks, plenty of green tea. Here's a little piece of lemon peel here. I see like these tiny little dehydrated blueberries, raspberries, or maybe those are little pieces of blackberries. Yeah, those would be blackberries. I see the tiny little pieces of blackberries. I see little raspberry pieces, and I love that the tea is like these huge long leaves. 
I think these are Chinese green tea leaves because they are like a little longer and like um, pressed kind of flat. Whereas Japanese green tea usually is a little more kind of bigger shape, like more voluminous shape. Whereas the Chinese green teas are usually like pressed flat because of uh, the differences in the way that they process green tea in the two different countries. It's uh, really interesting. So that's what I think this is, but I do kind of wish it would say specifically like what green tea it is. Cause even within just like Chinese green teas, there are so many varieties, I'd be curious. But let's go on Tiesta's website and see if there's anything else we can find out about Blackberry Bellini. So it looks like most people probably would drink this iced, but if you know me, you know that I drink everything hot. Um, here in the picture, I am seeing some large raspberries. I definitely don't have like raspberries or blackberries that big. I have like small pieces, so I am seeing a bit of a difference. Maybe it's just cause it's like a smaller container. Oh, but it smells so good. <laughs> It's like a smaller container maybe, so maybe um, I just didn't happen to get a big raspberry. But the taste is the most important part. And see here, it looks like um, they're showing it as an iced tea, but I'm just not into iced tea. I actually went the whole summer without making a cup of iced tea at all. Like I drink hot tea all year like a weirdo. <laughs> Um, but here is the, the description on the website. Blackberry citrus green tea that combines that fresh off the bush blackberry flavor with the refreshing green tea flavor you love. Bright notes of pineapple and lemon make it pop. Slenderizer blend. Our slenderizer blends contain green and oolong teas that suppress your appetite and boost your metabolism. I think tea can be a really good aid in like boosting your metabolism, but I don't really like the concept of appetite suppression. Like your appetite is there to tell you that it's time to eat. So I don't recommend using tea or anything else to suppress your appetite. Also like the, the slenderized concept, I sort of have weird feelings about because for me, like I don't drink tea for weight loss. Like, I drink tea because it makes me feel great and it's fun and it's delicious and it's a ritual. So I'm not crazy about the like slender eyes language. They, if, if you're trying to lose weight, it's not just going to like, you can't just drink a tea and it's gonna fall off you. I think as women especially, like we attach a lot of our value to the way that we look and the way our bodies look. Uh, so like when we see things like slender eyes or like diet food or like appetite suppressant, I feel like it piques our interest because it's just, it's the way we're conditioned by society to really um, like attach our value with like our weight and with our looks. And that's why I have weird feelings whenever brands do that type of marketing because like it's appealing to something I don't like. I don't like that we're treated that way as women um, and that we treat ourselves that way. So my challenge to you would be, if the slenderizer part of this tea is like kind of what piqued your interest, maybe think about like why, like what is it that makes you want to like slenderize? You know what I mean? Tea has so many benefits, like antioxidants, like all kinds of good stuff that like the metabolism stuff and the like appetite suppressant stuff. I'm like, why is that what we talk about? Like. Tea is so just like, it's a ritual. Like it's it's honestly magical making a cup of tea. So like in the whole world of magic that is tea, why is it that so often it comes back to boost your metabolism, suppresses your appetite? Um, I mean, it tastes like blackberry, this tea. It tastes like delicious green tea. It tastes like berries. It's, um, you know, like there's so many better descriptors, I guess. So many better, you know, I don't know. That was a long uh, tangent. I'm probably gonna cut most of it out. <laughs> and it looks like this blend has really good reviews and also it is marked as a new blend, but let's go ahead and remove our infuser. We don't want it to oversteep. And I really like the color. It's like, like light pink, I feel like. And it looked that way in the pictures too. So I know it's not like I didn't steep it long enough. Like. Look at that, because there's no hibiscus or anything. So it's getting the color from 
like the blackberries and the raspberries themselves. It almost has like a rose gold vibe. This color is so gorgeous. It sounds like my upstairs neighbor is tuning his guitar. Don't mind that. Um, I play guitar too, so I love, I love to hear it, honestly. But I hope it doesn't bother you guys if you can hear it. But let's go ahead and try it. It's really good. I don't know what it is, but I was like, what's the Bellini part, you know? Like, I'm like, is it gonna taste like there's like champagne? Cause is, is that a Bellini? It's like a champagne drink. But I do taste like a vibe like that. I don't know if it's the combination of like the citrus and the blackberry, but it's really nice. Or maybe it's like an artificial flavor, but oh my gosh, the blackberry with the lemon peel, it has almost like a blackberry, raspberry, like lemonade vibe. It's really, really good. But like there really is something like fancy and champagne-y about it. It's really delicious, oh my gosh. It reminds me a bit of David's Tea's Blackberry Lemonade. It's maybe like a little lighter and flavored than that, but uh, I like that actually. This would be so good in the summer as an iced tea. Like I gotta admit, even though I'm not like an iced tea person, but I think I'm gonna have no issue drinking through what I have of this um, for sure as a hot tea. So this will not, I mean, I have just a little bit left, but it won't last until summer or uh, who knows, maybe even not till the end of the week. It definitely is more of a summer flavor profile, but I also feel like it could contribute to a really cool mocktail for the holidays since it is like Bellini themed. I feel like you could do something really cool where maybe you put in some real blackberries and use some like sparkling water, like maybe LaCroix, like a flavored LaCroix. I feel like I suggest this in like every video. I'm like, what if you mixed it with LaCroix? <laughs> but wow, this is really good. I really enjoy Tiesta. I'm I'm really enjoying like exploring all of their teas and getting to know the brand and getting to know like the flavors they use. So if you're interested in this tea or any of Tiesta's teas, I have uh, an affiliate code. I think it's like Dana15 in the description box. So if you wouldn't mind using that on your orders, I would really appreciate it and it gets you a discount as well. So if you're looking for something fancy, I would go with the Blackberry Bellini. If you're looking for matcha, they've got you covered. They have some pretty good matcha. If you're looking for a chai, they have that. It's really like a really nice, like diverse brand. You can get a lot of good stuff from Tiesta. So check it out. But anyway, I hope you and your families are all staying safe and healthy. And I hope you're having a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.